In this video, we're going to be walking through the viewing results in the GeoPlan topic in the InfoWorks ICM basic tutorial. So to start, we're going to open our model results. There's a couple different ways to do that, but I'm just going to drag it out onto the GeoPlan. These are the results from the simulation that we ran a couple of exercises ago. Um, and so we can zoom in. Uh, so we are going to zoom to the part of the network leading to the outfall, which is the northeast corner. So that's right about here. So um, our geo plan should look similar to what we see in the um, in the tutorial here. And so uh, we have results open. So we're able to look at our results on the geo plan um, in a few different ways, one of them being the themes. Um, so we're gonna right click in the middle of the network and select properties and themes. And we're gonna create a conduit theme to add arrows to the conduits um, that indicate the volume of flow at those conduits. So we've opened the properties and themes and um, in the conduit row, so this is step B, we're gonna click edit under the theme column. So here's the conduit layer. Um, and within the conduit um, theme, we can see the base theme and we can also see a theme on system type. These are the default themes. So we're gonna create a new theme um, by clicking this add new theme button here and we are going to give it a name we're going to call it downstream flow and then from the field drop down we're going to select sim so we scroll down to where all the sim fields are the sim fields are the results fields and then we want the downstream flow and we want to make sure that the arrows box is ticked uh and we also want arrow style which is down here and we don't need this line color and then uh in the ranged themes we want to select the number of arrows that are to appear to appear on the line um from the drop down list so uh, for the less than this amount of flow, we are going to choose zero um, arrows. And then um, for this row, we want one arrow. And for this row, we want two arrows. So now if we click OK and then apply and OK again, we will now see those arrows on the geoplane. So let's scroll down in the tutorial. So you can see in the tutorial window that there are arrows in the geo plan. So if we press play, um, if the flows are changing, um, then you should probably see changes to the arrows as well. So the play button is up here if you wanna go ahead and play the results and see the arrows change on the geo plan. Um, but for the sake of this video, we will keep moving. Um, oh, and you can always, if you press play, you can also just rewind all the way to the beginning. Uh, and then um, we're gonna display a graph of the effect of the simulation on various parameters for um, any point in the network. So to do that, as an example, you're gonna look for this graph pick button. So if you click on that, um, and then click on any element in the model, I'm just gonna click on this pipe here well, that's not one that they pick in the model let's see or in the tutorial might be one of these I'll just pick this one uh, and then um, when you pick it you get to choose from a number of, of graph parameters um, so the tutorial just wants you to choose any parameter we'll go ahead and choose flow and then we can see how the flow changes over time during the simulation. Let's go ahead and close this graph. And then we can um, use our selection tool 
and we're going to select a, um, we're going to select the graph pick button and then select any uh, object in the model. We'll go ahead and choose this pipe this time. And when we do that, we get a graph. Um, so it's the time varying results for each of the parameters um, in tabular format. So that's another kind of quick way of viewing results. Um, so we'll go ahead and close the grid window. And then we can also use the properties tool to select any object. And when we do that, um, the properties of that element will open up. And if you didn't, if it didn't automatically open on the results um, like mine did, mine's, mine opened up to the input data, you can click on this show results button and it'll show you all the results. Um, and then to go back to the input data, you just click it again and it goes to the input data. So you can view all of the summary results for that element here in the properties window. And so these results, um, we're looking at the results at time five o'clock um, or hour five. And so if you want to move ahead to another time, we can click this button here and you can, um, you can type in the time here that you want to look at. So maybe we want to look at 530. I guess you can't type, sorry. Um, but we can step through each time. And as you do that, the results, um, as they vary over time, will show up here in the, um, in the properties window. And so you can move this slider um, or use the arrows to do that. All right, let's click cancel. And so we can also view the time varying results on a grid as the simulation progresses. So if we open up the new link results grid or window, then we can, um, we're looking at this at hour five again. And when we click the play button, so it's just the, um, the black columns are the max results, but the green columns are going to change over time. So let's find some of the green columns, for example. So then we can press play. And when we do that, we'll see the values change. And so you can try that if you'd like, but we will keep moving forward. And again, the play button is up here. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'll just click play. So you can watch it kind of move a little bit, see how they're changing. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and we'll move on to step three. So again, you can use themes to illustrate the change in a number of parameters as the simulation progresses. Um, so we can show the change in volume in each link. Um, so to do that, we're going to right click in properties and themes. And we will open um, the conduit theme again, because we're going back to that theme we created earlier. And so we're going to select the, um, the theme we already created. But this time from the field dropdown, we're going to choose um, sim downstream velocity. There it is. Um, and we're gonna make sure auto range is ticked and then we wanna check line color and line width. And we're gonna go ahead and um, remove the arrows, the arrow styles. And then we wanna make the value count five. So the value count's right here. So we wanna add two of them. And then so then we want to choose a line color for the first row. Let's choose, let's just say pink. And then for this last one, we'll, we'll go ahead and keep green. And then when we click auto theme, 
it's going to give us um, some different options. Um, so if I click it again, we'll do something like that. So we can kind of keep clicking until it, until they land on one that we like. So I'll go ahead and keep this one. Um, and then for line width, we want to go ahead and increase the line width. Oh, we need to keep arrows. So we want to uh, increase the line width as the size or as the volume is increased. And then we'll also increase our arrows. So we want one, two, three, oops. Okay, so it should look like this. And we can go ahead and click OK and apply and OK. And then we should see different colored lines in our um, geo plan based on uh, the downstream velocities. And so if we want to turn off the arrows, we would just untick that arrows box in the properties. Um, so you can do that if you'd like. Um, and then we can rewind all the way to the beginning and you can press play and watch kind of has the, how the colors change um, as the simulation progresses. Um, so if we want, we can save this theme. Let's see if we have a theme group, we do. So we'll go ahead and try to save the theme, new InfoWorks theme. And we can call this link dash ds velocity. So downstream velocity and click OK. Oh, I'll give it another name. Click OK. All right. Um, so if we want, we can turn the, the, the theme off uh, by, if we go to the thematic key window, if we want to turn off this theme, you can go ahead and select it and then click delete, the delete key, just the delete key on your keyboard. Um, and, then, and then we can also add labels. So I'm just kind of showing you guys different, um, different ways to kind of work with the themes and labels. So that's why we're creating things and saving things and then deleting things. Um, so to create the labels, let's right click and go to properties and themes again. And we're gonna edit the custom label for conduits. So the custom label, there's auto labels and then there's custom labels. So we're gonna edit the custom label for, for now. And Um, in the content tab, we want, we just want to choose the downstream velocity um, field. So it'd be nice if these were in alphabetical order. <laughs> downstream, there we go. Downstream velocity, perfect. Um, okay, so then we can click OK and apply and OK. And then to create a custom label, there is a tool up here. Oh, this one, it's the custom label tool. Click on that. And then you can click on any uh, pipe and it'll create this little custom label. And you can even drag that label to a new position. So you can kind of arrange these however you'd like. And let's see. Um, and so another thing to note is if, if I were to rewind this to the beginning and press play, I would also see the custom label change in value as the um, flows change in that, or the velocities change in that pipe. 
And so um, you can also save this theme as well. I'll give it a name. I'm saving the theme. I'm going to call it uh, Downstream Velocity Labels and click OK. So if I want to apply this again later, I can do so. Um, okay, uh, that is it for the um, viewing results in the geo plan exercise.